Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind us. This looks like those weird doors we've seen. I guess Mamir will help us figure it all out. If we can bring him back to life. house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake i know just where to go hope she made it back from alpine and can bring the mirror back he seemed nice before you cut off his head Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons. Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my kind? I mean, your family, before mother, where you came from, mother, father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Beth. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times you get so wrapped up in zipper sup. Anybody? Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way. 
behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, didn't she? Yes, she fought. Here, boy. Yes, sir. Kavikia. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive. And reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalker. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Night. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. Disappear. Come, let us not be distracted. more than decipher those Nusbaum runes. It also contains the travel room. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew him long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. 
I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. And now the door is gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? Boy, over here. Hey, there's another dragon. I see improvement. One of those bowls of sand up there. That I drew the runes into? I'm not sure how we reach it. Not up there. Up there. It is those sand bowls. There are different rooms written along the side of this one. Look here. Yes, sir.
Steel chest. I bet something good. Follow me, Atreus. have some way of getting back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Keep looking. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie.
It is over. Read it. Sir! Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. What does it say? Yes, sir. Upon all who trespass. Here, boy. I know those runes. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there. She is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mila. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. 
When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Lemir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Namir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn. Good. Now put my lips to the horn. had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. He remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Untunku. the pain of your 
that loss. It will help you. sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people who first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. You looked kind of mad for a moment. Ah, that. You thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Fire! Love you! Oh. Almost ready! Your boy could use a hand! Oh. Nightmare, sir! Huh? What awful pain! Boy. Found anything good in Fafnir stone? A whetstone? Nothing to your liking, I see. Where shall we begin?
that. Was there? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances. And not completely without reason. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate.
among the living, my beloved. You want us to collect her bones? Ulvig sick. Really? Boy. I can smell your cr Boy. We They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Father? Maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you wish, boy. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Grimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Grimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Giant chisel. That didn't seem to do anything. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. idea.
What happened to Mr. Bob? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead. Well, what's the plan? 